Scramble is dumbing itself down for the woke. The board game is getting updated to be more inclusive and less competitive. So instead of competing, players collaborate, games are shorter, there are clue cards, and a no more scoring option so no one's feelings gets hurt. <laughs> right now, it's only available in Europe. Okay, so what I think is interesting about this, uh, Jessica, is that they've removed certain words. Uh, they've banned racist LBGTQ slurs from the tournaments, but there are also new words that are, you know, that the woke generation would be very comfortable with. <laughs> so is this more about wokeism, this new scrabble? Or is it about HDHD, I mean, ADHD, and the fact that they, they need friends and they need hints and they can't spell? Well, first, um, in favor of removing slurs, I think we could probably all agree on that, but maybe not. So not so fast. Careful, Justin. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll get to you. Um, I always thought, though, you could play in teams, or I have played in teams before, even before this thing, but... I think they just wanted to create a lighter version that would appeal to younger people. Scrabble can be a tough game. <laughs> so is life. Yeah. The game? That is a tough game. It, it is, is yeah. nicely done. Okay, Greg, the squares have been cream colored for decades. Oh. Do you think they're going to make squares of different colors so as not to offend people? I hope so. I have never played Scrabble in my You'd life. So what? It. Never played it. So I'm not sure how to handle this. This feels like a really solid Fox topic. You know, it happens in Europe. We haven't, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I've never played it. So I don't know. Maybe this is maybe this is a gateway drug so you get hooked on the real game. But playing a game without scoring, even if you suck at something, is so anti-human. It's like scoring is part of your DNA. You know, you need to keep track. I'm the world's worst tennis player, but I hate volleying. Great volleying. I would love, that's true. But I love playing, I love pl keeping score when I play tennis, even if I lose 6-0, because I need to keep score. For example, I'm keeping score of the five right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing in the fashion department. Yes. No. Oh. He looks great. Did you hear that? <laughs> you know what, Jesse? <laughs> surprised that this new Scrabble didn't come with like four trophies so everybody feels like they won. I know. Come on. I mean, even who was the blonde guy you played tennis against? Stevie Wonder kept score <laughs> when he played Greg Pickleball. He said the blonde guy. <laughs> Stevie blind. Wonder's, I he said blonde. Stevie blonde. Wonder's yeah. blind. Does he know he's not blonde? <laughs> Stop I'm it. not going there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you take out slurs, Dana's never going to win. So I just think that's, yeah. I think it's unfair. I, I've played Scrabble a few times. I'm more into games of skill like Yahtzee. Mm. Those oh. games are really for people that have an intellectual capacity. They can really calculate winning and losing. And Scrabble's just for, you know, people that pretend to be intellectual, that actually can't compete in the real world. Like Yahtzee. You should name your child Yahtzee. <laughs> Don't Every tell time everybody. You <laughs> Yahtzee! That's more a boy than a girl's name. All right, Dana. Some of the new words are bestie, zomboid, Bitcoin, and sheep sheeple. Wait, wait. What? You know, bestie? Zomboid? Zomboid. Z-O-M-B-O-I-D. And sheeple. Mm. Well, do you know what sheeple is? Yeah. What, Listeners people with sheep? I was just going to say Awful. that I think that NPR Awful. is playing this new version. Yeah. <laughs> I figured out Uri Berliner, and they are trying That's to, hard to score. Say. Brian Berliner. Brenberg from Fox Business told me that board games are up 6% in terms of sales. Oh, good. And that people want to actually not to get off their phones and to play. So maybe we should just let them That play is so Brian. Well, he is Fox Business. <laughs> But, you know, that's nice. That means people are talking yeah. together and there's yeah. a commonality. It's, nice. and, it's great you when know, you show up at an Airbnb I think it's and they have all the games. Yeah. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.